Hello yogis, welcome to the practice. In the practice today, we will explore a variation of Vishwamitrasana, a pose dedicated to sage Vishwamitra. It is an arm balance that is very similar to a side plank. Um, it's kind of a combination of side plank and um, a Vishwamitrasana that some of you might be familiar with when you rotate your top shoulder out and extend um, one of the legs over uh, the head. Um, this particular variation has to do with uh, strengthening the obliques, uh, extending the hamstrings, uh, working with the outer thigh area, and creating um, lots of space on the side of the body. So during the class today, we'll explore um, all of these areas and towards the end of the practice, we will bring all the pieces of the puzzle together to practice uh, this arm balance. And of course, if an arm balance is not something you're interested in, we will be, um, you will be offered some other modifications. For the practice, you might need uh, two blocks and a strap. Um, also, kind of a word of caution, this particular practice uh, might require more attention to the wrists. So please make sure when you put weight on your hands to press down, not just through the heels of the hands, but also through the roots of the fingers, especially the index fingers and the thumbs. So the weight is distributed uh, more evenly. Let's get started. Find your way to child's pose. Have your knees about hip distance apart. Connect your big toes. Draw the sitting bones down to the heels. Extend your arms forward. And take a moment here to close your eyes. Noticing your natural, uninterrupted, easily flowing breath. Right now we are not controlling, not manipulating the breath in any way. So just notice the way your natural breath echoes at the back of the body. Feel the area of your kidneys, the space between the shoulder blades, the back of the neck. The back of the body is expanding as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, it is melting into, merges with the front of the body. Noticing your current state of being, body, mind, and heart. As you stabilize the position of the pelvis, slowly, slowly walk your hands over to the left side. Rooting down through the right hip, draw your right shoulder away from the right hip. Let your head be heavy. And find three breaths here, emphasizing the right side of the ribcage by simply guiding your attention to the right side. As you inhale your fourth time, walk your hands forward and over to the right. So now as we root down through the left hip, emphasize the left side of the ribcage with the breath. Letting the head be heavy. Letting the breath be smooth and continuous. Walk your hands back to center. Now this time keep your right arm extended forward. Guide your left arm underneath your throat over to the right side. So you're not blocking the airflow in your throat. Press your chin into your left upper arm. And either stay here or shift your weight forward so now your hips are hovering above your knees and the left side of the head is on the ground. 
Slide your right hand towards the space near your left forearm. And as you breathe out next time, press your right hand down a little bit more, deepening the twist, exploring the thoracic spine. Even though the side of the head is on the floor, there's not a lot of weight on the head. The majority of the weight is on your knees, left shoulder, your feet. Some of us stay here. Some of us extend the right arm to the ceiling. Some of us wrap the arm around the lower back, spiraling the right side of the ribcage towards the ceiling. If you would like to flirt with balance, curl your right toes under, shift more weight onto your left side, step your right toes back, lift your right knee, and maybe lift the right leg back and up, pointing the toes or flexing the foot. Finding another deep breath in wherever you are. And as you exhale, slowly, if the knee was lifted, return it to the floor. Bring your right hand to the ground. Push from the floor. Come up with your torso. Release your left arm from underneath. You circle your shoulders a couple of times. Now let's pivot on the right knee. Guide the right foot out to the side. Step your left foot back. Aligning your right hand, right knee, left foot. Rotate your left shoulder out. Send your pelvis forward. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hand to the heart. Even out your chest to the floor. Couple more. Inhale. Rotation of the shoulder out. Send your pelvis forward. Exhale. Hand to heart. Chest evens out to the ground. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend the left arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, pause. Root down through your left foot. Root down through your right knee. Come up with your torso and find Parigasana gate pose. Slide your left hand down over your left outer thigh. Or maybe your calf. This time, spiral the right side of the ribcage towards the ceiling. Look up to the ceiling from underneath your right upper arm. Draw your belly to the spine, supporting the lower back in the side stretch. Find another deep inhalation. Exhale. Inhale, come up with the torso. Exhale, right hand finds the floor. Left hand finds the floor. Curl your left toes under. Lift your right leg back and up. Let's bend the right knee. Circle your right knee in the air a couple of times as you lift and lower your left heel. So synchronizing the movement of your left foot and your right leg. Now next time your knee is moving towards your navel, pause. Draw your upper body forward so your shoulders hover above the wrists. Guide your right knee towards your left triceps. Hover, breathe. Slide your knee towards your wrist, left wrist that is, extend the left leg back. Shift more weight to your right side. Lower your right knee down so your knee is in line with the hip. Extend your right leg to the left. Even out your belly, chest to the floor as best you can. Curl your left toes under if you haven't already and push your left heel back. Draw the belly to the spine. Either stay here or walk your hands further apart than your mat. And let's explore a couple of shoulder dips. Lower your left shoulder down as you look to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right shoulder down as you look to the left. Couple more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Great. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down onto your forearms. Some of us will stay here, continuously hugging the bones of your left leg with the muscles. Some of us press the right hand down, lift the right elbow, and move the same left arm underneath your throat, just like you did in child's pose. Stay in here for three, two, one. 
Inhale, come up with the torso, release your left arm. Push your right hand to the floor, both hands to the floor. Lift the hips and step your right toes back. Bring your feet to touch. Inhale, lift the heels if you're wearing stiletto shoes. Round your spine. Keep the belly hugging the spine as you travel forward with your torso. When your shoulders hover just past your wrists, unfold into your upward facing dog with your feet connected and toes curled under. Exhale, chin moves in, push your hands down, belly to the spine, roll back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees to the floor, have them about hip distance apart, lift the chin, lift the tail, and as you exhale, find child's pose with your big toes connected. Take a moment here to feel the aftertaste of the first sequence of asanas, allowing the momentum of the breath to slow down. So let's repeat the same sequence on the other side. Keep your left arm as it is. Extend your right arm underneath your throat. Press your chin into your right upper arm. Staying right here or shifting the weight forward. So now, again, your pelvis is hovering above your knees. Just making sure your knees are about hip distance apart here. Sliding the left hand towards the floor near your right forearm. And either staying right here or extending the left arm to the ceiling. Either staying here or wrapping the arm around the lower back. Maybe shifting the weight to the right side, curling the left toes under, lifting the left knee, sliding the left toes back. Maybe the left toes leave the ground as we lift the right leg. Pointing the toes or flexing the foot. Find another inhalation here. And if your left knee is lifted, return the knee to the floor. Return the left hand to the floor. Press down to lift up. As you extract your right arm from underneath you, circle your shoulders a couple of times. And then pivot on your left knee. Guide your left foot out to the side. Step your right foot back. Align your left hand, left knee, right foot. Inhale, rotate your right shoulder out as you send your pelvis towards the wall in front of you. Exhale, hand to heart, chest levels to the floor. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Great. Inhale, extend the right arm to the ceiling. Exhale here. Root down through your right foot. Push down through your left knee. Come up with the torso. Parigasana, side stretch over to the right side. Spiral the left side of the ribcage to the ceiling. Look to the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm if your neck agrees with it. Chest is spacious. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left hand, right hand, find the floor, curl the right toes under, lift your left leg back and up. Bend your left knee, circle your left knee a couple of times as you lift and lower your right heel. Great. Next time your knee is moving towards your belly, Shift your upper body forward, shoulders hover above the wrists, left knee, right triceps, make a connection. Lower your knee towards your right wrist, lower your left hip down, shift the weight to the left side, lower the left knee down enough so you can extend your left leg out to the side. So your hip, your knee, your foot, left foot are on one line. Even out your belly chest to the floor as best you can. Keep pressing back through the right heel. Maybe stay here, maybe find a few shoulder dips. Don't forget to walk your hands a little further apart so there is more room for your torso to move and pulsate. Great. Inhale, come back up. 
Exhale, lower down onto your forearms. Some of us stay here. Some of us press the left hand down, lift the left elbow, and guide the right arm underneath the throat again, pressing the chin down to the right upper arm. Drawing the belly in every time you exhale. Find another deep inhalation. And as you exhale, push down to lift up. Press both hands to the floor. Lift the hips. And slide your left foot back to downward facing dog. Let's step the feet together again. Lift the heels, moving as, in, as if in slow motion around your spine. Travel forward into your back bend. Exhale, chin in, push down to lift up. Great. So let's uh, begin our standing. Uh, the sequence of standing asanas. If you haven't already stepped your feet together, some of the elements will be familiar to us. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left triceps. Pause, hover, breathe. Extend your right leg underneath you. Pause here, evening out the belly chest to the floor. Remember to press down through the roots of the fingers. Now guide your left heel in and down, shift the weight to the right palm, extend the left arm to the ceiling, extend the arm above the head, preferably not destroying your house plants. Inhale, lift the left arm up, exhale, return your hand to the floor, inhale, draw the knee towards your right upper arm. Pivot on the left foot, draw the left heel out and down and step your right toes behind your left leg. Wild thing, turning the gaze to the ceiling, rotating the right shoulder out. The whole left palm is on the floor. Exhale, return your right hand down and step your right foot forward. Have your feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, reverse. Your lunge, right hand is walking down the left hamstrings. Left arm is reaching up and over the head. Maybe circle the left wrist a couple of times. Inhale, come up with your torso. Exhale, left elbow, right outer thigh. Connect your palms. At any point, you can lower your left knee down if necessary. Hug your left, the bones of the left leg with the muscles. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down at your right big toe and step your left foot forward, feet together, knees are aligned to each other. Push your hands, right hand into your left hand. Every time you inhale, the spine grows taller, longer. Every time you breathe out, the twist grows deeper. As you inhale, find your regular chair pose. As you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart, extend your legs, draw your pelvis forward, lengthen the distance between your lower ribs and the hip bones, offer the sternum to the ceiling, maybe look up, gentle back bend. Inhale, come up with the torso. Exhale, release into Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Let's find halfway lift of the chest as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, draw the left leg back and up, standing splits. So instead of opening the pelvis out to the side, let's lower the left hip down, reaching back and up through your left inner thigh left inner thigh. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly, slowly step your left toes back. Bring your hands to the floor or your blocks by the inner surface of the right foot. You might need to snuggle up the right foot out to the side. And from your left toes, lean back and forth, back and forth, having the chest spacious. 
Now when you shift your weight forward next time, lower your left knee down. Either stay right here or search for your left foot with the right hand. See if you can find the pinky toe side of the foot. Inhale, rotate the right shoulder out, take a peek to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bow forward and maybe lower down onto your left forearm. Some of you might want to stay here for a few breaths. Some of you pulsate. Inhale, rotate the shoulder out, take a look to the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Two more breaths. Exhale. One more round. Exhale. Great. Release your left foot. Bring your hands to the floor if they're not there already. You can also use the blocks. Lift the left knee and press your right foot forward and down, extending the right leg. Lift the chest a little higher as you breathe in. Exhale, fold forward and maybe walk your hands forward. Next time you breathe in, lift the chest a little higher, walk your hands in underneath the shoulders and slide your right toes back for downward facing dog. In this symmetrical position, feel the imprint of the previous sequence in your body. Next time you inhale, find your first plank pose, shoulders hover above the wrists. Exhale, knees lifted or down, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. Step your feet together. Lift your left leg up. Exhale, guide your left knee towards your right triceps. Make a connection. Hover, breathe, and then extend your left leg underneath you to the right side. Even out your belly, chest to the floor. Press down through the roots of the fingers. Now guide your right heel in and down. Rotate your right shoulder out. Extend the arm to the ceiling or over the head. Press your feet to the floor to lift the hips a little higher. Inhale. Exhale. Release your right hand to the ground. Lift the right heel. Draw your left knee towards your left elbow. Then pivot on the right foot, draw the right heel out and down and step your left toes on the floor behind your right leg. Lift the hips as you press the right hand, right foot, left foot down. Spiral the left side of the ribcage to the ceiling. Maybe take a peek to the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm. Inhale. Exhale. Return your left hand down and step your left foot forward. Have your feet hip distance apart horizontally. Inhale, reverse your lunge. Exhale, sink into it and maybe circle your right wrist a couple of times. Great. Find another deep breath in here. Exhale, right elbow, left outer thigh. Connecting the hands at the heart. And if your hands are by your armpit, Press your right elbow, press your left hand down so the right side ribs can move a little further away from your right thigh. Uh, this lower back lengthens. Chest is spacious, spine is long. Find another deep breath in. And as you exhale, look at your left foot. Shift your weight forward and step your right foot forward. Even out your knees to the front side of the mat. Next time you breathe in, find your chair pose. And as you breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. Extend your legs. Draw the pelvis forward. Lengthen the distance between your low ribs and your hip bones. Offer your sternum to the ceiling. Maybe a little deeper back bend. Great. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Release. Inhale, halfway lift of the chest. Exhale, slide your right foot back and up. This is where you can use your blocks underneath your hands if necessary. So again, instead of opening the pelvis to the side wall, can we even it out? 
to the floor, reaching back and up through the right inner thigh, pointing the right toes or flexing the foot. Find another deep breath in. Exhale, step your right toes back and bring your hands on the floor or your blocks by your left inner foot. From your right toes, lean back and forth, back and forth, keeping the chest spacious, projecting the solar plexus area forward. When you shift your weight forward next time, lower your right knee down. Stay right here or search for your right outer foot with your left hand, rotating the left shoulder out, and as you exhale, fold forward. Maybe you stay still, maybe you pulsate. Right hand or forearm is on the floor. One more breath. Great. Release the foot. Return the left hand down, right hand down. Curl your right toes under. Press your right foot to the floor. Extend your right leg. Extend your left leg. Lifting the chest halfway as you inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands forward a little bit more as you fold forward. Drawing the right hip forward. Drawing the left hip back. Great. Walk your hands closer to your feet. Lift the chest a little higher. And as you exhale, step your left toes back. Finding plank. Chaturanga. Back bend. Downward facing dog. All right. So let's um, repeat the same sequence with a few additions and let's move a little bit uh, faster. Uh, just make sure you're still following your breath um, in your transitions. Step your feet together and as you inhale lift your right leg up. Exhale, guide your right knee towards your left triceps. Pause, hover, breathe. Extend your right leg underneath you over to the left side. Even out your belly, chest to the floor as best you can, making sure you're not just favoring the heels of the hands, you're pressing down through the roots of the fingers. Draw your left heel in and down. Inhale, extend your left arm towards the ceiling. Exhale, extend your arm over the head. Inhale here, exhale, flex your right foot and lift your right leg up. You can do it. Find another deep breath in. As you exhale, return your left hand down. Simultaneously move your right knee towards your right upper arm. Pivot on the ball of your left foot. Draw your left heel out and down. And either step your right toes behind you just like you did before. Or stack your legs one on top of the other. Or lift your right leg up. Catch your right big toe with the first three fingers of the right hand and lift the hips as you press your left hand and your left foot down. Inhale here. Exhale slowly, slowly step your right foot forward. Have your feet about hip distance apart horizontally. Inhale, reverse your lunge. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, come up with your torso. Exhale, left elbow, right outer thigh. Connect your hands or open your arms wide apart. Or if the bind is in your practice, find a bind. Find another deep breath in. Exhale, reconnect your hands at the heart. Look at your right big toe, breathe in, lean forward, breathe out, step your left foot forward, even out your knees to the top of the mat. Stay here for a couple of breaths or find your Parshva Bakasana or side crow pose. This is not a peak pose of the practice today, so I'm not going to dedicate much time uh, explaining it, but I'll save it for the next practice. 
release your toes down, walk your hands forward, find your symmetric or cha symmetrical chair pose, inhale, exhale, hands to heart, extend your legs, draw the pelvis forward, gentle back bend, inhale, come up, exhale, release, Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower your upper body down as you slide your left leg back and up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Either keep your hands on the floor or your blocks or to flirt with balance. Maybe you find your right ankle calf with one or both hands reaching back and up from your left inner thigh. Inhale. Exhale, step your left toes back. Bring your hands on the inner surface of the right foot. Snuggle up your right foot out to the side. Lower your pelvis down, but keep it buoyant from your left toes. Lean back and forth. Keep the chest spacious. When you lean forward next time, lower your left knee down. Stay here or reach for your left outer foot with your right hand or come up with the torso. Find your inner foot with the right hand outer foot with your left hand, interlace the fingers at the top of the foot and press your foot back as you lower the hips down. Make sure your left knee has enough cushion underneath it. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Release your hands to the floor or your blocks. Press your left toes down, extend both legs. Lift the chest a little higher, exhale, walk your hands forward a bit more, lower the chest down. The next time you breathe in, walk your hands in, lift the chest higher, slide your right foot in a little closer to the left foot, walk your hands to the right side of the mat, pivot on the balls of your feet as you turn your toes to the right, lift the chest halfway, exhale, upper body, is melting into the lower body. Say hello to the outer thighs, outer hips. Find another deep breath in. Slow breath out. Great. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, walk your hands forward and step your right toes back for downward facing dog. Stay here or find child's pose or Find your third plank of the practice, Chaturanga, back bend, downward facing dog, and we get to switch sides. So step your feet together, lift your right leg up, I'm sorry, lift your, so step your feet, and we get to switch sides. So step your feet together, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right triceps. Find a connection, breathe. Extend your left leg to the right side. Even out your belly, chest to the floor. Press down through the roots of the fingers. Maybe gently claw your mat with the tips of the fingers without lifting the rest of the fingers. Guide your right heel in and down. Lift the hips as you extend the right arm towards the ceiling. Now guide your arm over the head, flex your left foot, and maybe lift your left leg straight up for three, two, one. Return your right hand down. Guide your left knee towards your left triceps. Pivot on the ball of the right foot. Find your wild thing. Either stay here or stack your legs left on top of the right one. Or, with the left hand, find your left big toe. Press down through your right foot, the right hand to lift the hips a little higher as you extend your left leg to the ceiling. One more breath. Slowly, slowly bring your left foot forward. Have your feet about hip distance apart horizontally as you transition to your reversed lunge. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist. Pressing the left hand, pressing the right elbow down. 
staying here or opening the arms, staying here or finding a bind. One more breath. Reconnect your hands with the heart. If you haven't already, look at your left big toe. Inhale, lean forward, exhale, step your left foot forward. Stay right here. Or find your Parsvabhakasana. Again, we'll explore it in more detail in the next class. Return your toes down if you are inside crow, and let's all meet in a regular chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart, extend your legs, <sighs> gentle back bend. Inhale, come up, exhale, lower down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, right toes move back and up as you fold forward, keeping the pelvis as even to the floor as possible. Hands are on the ground or your blocks or flirt with balance by searching for your left ankle or calf with one or both hands. Inhale. Exhale, step your right toes back. Bring your hands on the inner surface of your left foot. Lower your pelvis down, but keep it buoyant. Lean back and forth, moving from your right toes. When you shift your weight forward next time, lower your right knee down, stay here, or reach for your outer foot with your left hand, or lift up a little higher, find your inner foot with your left hand, outer foot with your right hand, make sure you have enough padding underneath your knee, push your foot back, lift the sternum to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Return your hands down, lift the right knee, extend both legs. Inhale, halfway lift of the chest. Exhale, walk your hands forward perhaps a bit more as you lower your upper body down. Be kind to your left hamstrings. Extend the leg only to the degree that the hamstrings agree with. Lift the chest halfway. Walk the hands in a bit. Slide your left foot a little closer to the right foot. Lift both heels and turn your toes to the left side of the mat. Walk your hands to the left side of the mat. Lift the chest a little higher as you inhale. Exhale, lower down. Let's find another deep breath in here. Breathe out. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, walk your hands, turn your toes to the front side of the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Stay here or find your fourth and the final round of vinyasa. Oh, let's lower the knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail, and as you exhale, find child's pose and give your wrist some love, some attention. Allow the momentum of the breath to slow down. we just done a lot of movement, so here in stillness, take some moments to slow down the breath, to arrive back to center. All right, before we put all the pieces of the puzzle together, Let's explore the hips a little bit more. We'll find a way into the hands and knees first. And then guide your right knee towards your right wrist. 
find pigeon pose. If pigeon pose is not a kind choice for your knee today, you can find deer pose. Uh, very similar to pigeon, but the left knee will be bent. And if you, wherever you are, walk your hands further apart, further than the mat distance. And let's come back to the shoulder dips. Lowering one shoulder, lowering one shoulder down at a time. Now lower down onto your forearms and either stay right here or place your left forearm in front of the right one and walk your hands away from one another. So now your upper arms will cross. Press your chin to your left upper arm and either stay right here or bend your elbows and give your shoulder blades a hug or maybe your hands land on your shoulders or upper arms maybe connect your hands behind your back great release your arms down untie your arms come up onto your fingertips and either stay right here or just like you did in your lunge pose you might enjoy finding the outer foot with your left hand then shifting your weight forward searching for your inner foot with your right hand interlacing the fingers and pressing the foot back expanding the chest now lean forward release the foot shift your weight over to the right side so this is when um, our strap can be very helpful have it nearby unfold the strap and let's practice our Vishvamitrasana without leaving the floor which is the best choice uh, if you want to eliminate eliminate the um, element of balance so shifting the weight to the right side your left knee can be bent extend your right leg out and over to the right side. Now curl your left toes under, lift the left heel, but then draw your left heel in and down. So the foot is coming closer and closer to the floor. Right hand, right hip, left foot are on one line. Now let's actually lower down onto the right forearm, uh, at least for now. Now with your left hand, begin to search for your right outer foot. If the connection is not happening, this is where the strap can be very, very helpful. You can fold the strap around your left hand once or twice. Just make sure you have a nice, strong grip. Now, what we will do, we'll press the right elbow, left foot down to lift the hips. From here, we're going to slide the left foot, or right foot rather, towards the front side of the mat as we rotate the left shoulder out. Finding another breath here and as you exhale lower the hips down, lower the right leg down. Now by the way if the lift of the pelvis is not happening don't worry about moving the foot towards the front side of the mat and practice pressing down to lift up. Release the strap, bend your right knee, come back to pigeon pose for a breath or two Maybe find your way into your fingertips. And as you exhale, bring the heels of the hands down. Find your downward facing dog. And wiggle here, bend your knees one at a time. Let's return the knees to the floor. Lift the chin, lift the tailbone, exhale. Come back to child's pose. Rest here for a few moments. Please stay facing the same direction. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me a little bit better. So we'll come back onto the hands and knees and let's switch sides in our pigeon pose. So draw your left knee towards your left wrist. Extend your right leg back. Come up onto your fingertips. Lift the chest. As you exhale, walk your hands further apart further than the uh, mat distance and find a couple of these shoulder dips again. Mm -hmm. 
Every time you inhale, your arms extend. Every time you breathe out, the shoulder descends. Now lower down onto your forearms and either stay here, forearms somewhat parallel to one another, or bring your right forearm in front of the left one and walk your hands away from one another, pressing the chin into the right upper arm. You can have your arms extended, you can bend your elbows, maybe your, um, you um, connect your hands behind your back, maybe you give yourself a little scratch on the shoulders or the shoulder blades. And then release your hands down if the elbows were bent, untie your arms. Come back onto your hands, come back onto your fingertips, lift the chest, look up, stay here, or bend your right knee, search for your outer foot with your right hand, lean forward with your upper body, search for your inner foot with your left hand, interlace the fingers, flex the right foot, and push the foot back. Maybe look up. Release the foot as you lean forward. Bring your hands to the ground, shift the weight to the left. Have your strap nearby, just in case. Extend your left leg out to the side. Curl your right toes under, press your heel back, but then lower your right heel in and down. Lower down onto your left forearm. Left elbow, left hip, right foot are on one line. Search for the strap. Pull the strap around your uh, left foot. Pull the strap around your hand once or twice. Again, push your left elbow, press your right foot down. Press your left foot down as well to lift the hips. If the, hi if the lift is not happening, keep practicing. Otherwise, slide your left foot towards the front side of the mat as you rotate your right shoulder out. Stay here for another breath. Exhale, release the hips down, lower your left leg down, release the strap. Find pigeon pose for another breath or two. Come up onto your fingertips. And as you exhale, the heels of the hands find the floor as you step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, return your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. Exhale, child's pose. All right. Let's put all the pieces of the puzzle together. If you're not interested in an arm balance, you can find an asana that is already familiar to you. We'll start, uh, let's start on the right side. So from pigeon pose, you shift your right leg over to the left side. You even out your chest to the ground. You can lower down onto your forearms. You can repeat the shoulder stretch variation when you guide your left arm underneath your throat. Staying here for as long as you would like to, up to uh, seven breaths. Now if um, an arm balance is still interested, or interesting to you, from child's pose, come back to downward facing dog position. Step your feet together, extend the right leg up, exhale right knee, left tricep. Extend the leg underneath you to the left, draw the left heel in and down. Either find your outer foot with your left hand or fold the strap around your foot, fold the strap around your hand. And then, just like you did a moment ago, push your right hand, push your left foot down to lift the right leg and send it over to the front side of the mat as you rotate your left shoulder out. Find another deep breath in. Exhale, release. Set the strap aside. Step your right toes back. And let's all find child's pose. Knees to the ground. And as you exhale, release your hips to the heels. And with your left hand, squeeze your right wrist a couple of times. 
and then they'll switch sides. Either repeat the shoulder stretch variation <clears throat> or come back onto your hands and knees first and then find downward facing dog. Step your feet together, left leg reaches up, exhale left knee, right triceps. Extend the leg underneath you, lower the right heel in and down. Either search for the foot with your hand <clears throat> or find the strap and fold the strap around your foot and fold the strap around your hand. Press your left hand down, not just the heel of the hand, but the roots of the fingers. Press your right foot down, lift the left leg up, and then rotate, Ooh, and this might happen, and then rotate your right shoulder out. As you turn your gaze to the ceiling, draw your left leg towards your left arm. Find another deep breath in, and slowly, slowly release. Step back to downward facing dog. Return your knees to the floor. Lift the chin, lift the tail. And as you exhale, find child's pose with your right hand. Squeeze your left wrist a couple of times. And then slowly, slowly find your way onto your belly. Rest your forehead on your hands. Move your hips side to side. And again, allow the momentum of the breath to slow down. All right, let's extend the left arm forward. Bring your right hand to the floor near your right shoulder. Roll over onto your left hand side. Bend your left elbow and rest your head over your left hand. Extend your right leg towards the wall in front of you, or you can bend your knee and rest your knee on the floor or a block. And just see how much of your left upper thigh can you bring to the floor. Bend your left knee, search for your left foot with your right hand. Begin to rotate your right shoulder out. So now you can rest your head on the floor or a block behind your left upper arm. Cat tail twist. If holding onto your left foot is a bit much for your lower back right now, you can let your foot go and rest your hand on the uh, right sideways or the hip or wrap your arm around your lower back or open your arm out to the side. Let's share three more breaths wherever you are. Letting the belly move with the breath. Great. Now slowly let your foot go. If you're still holding onto it, and find your way onto your belly, bringing your forehead onto your hands. We'll switch sides, so extend your right arm forward, roll over onto your right hand side. Bend your right elbow, rest your head on your hand, and draw your left leg towards the wall in front of you. The leg can extend or the knee can be bent. See how much of your right upper thigh can you bring to the floor. And then bend your right knee, search for your foot with your hand. You can also um, find a strap and fold a strap around your foot. Rotate your left shoulder out, release your right arm, release your head to the floor or a block. Finding the position of the head where your neck does not have to 
work a lot or at all. Let's share three more breaths here, wherever here is for you. Great. Now when you inhale your fourth time, as you let go of your foot, instead of returning onto your belly, roll over onto your back. And as you find the support of the mat underneath you, heel toe your feet about mat distance apart, but draw your knees together and rest your hands on your belly. Let's take a few moments here with the eyes closed to recover from cattail twist, breathing with the belly. Letting the belly round and expand as you inhale and as you exhale, the belly deflates. Great. Let's give the knees a hug. Gently roll side to side. And we'll find happy baby pose. So some of us bring the hands to the inner knees and guide the knees wide apart. Some of us lift the heels above the knees and find the ankles with the hands. Some of us find the feet with the hands inner or outer feet. Or maybe uh, you find your big toes with the first three fingers. Whichever option you choose, press your low back and your sacrum into the floor. Softening the shoulders, relaxing the gaze, unclenching the teeth. It's really pressing the spine and the pelvis down, spine and the sacrum to the floor. Gently roll side to side. And then come back to center, release your feet. Connect the soles of your feet on the floor. Guide your knees wide apart. If your uh, inner hips need a little less um, intensity here, you can prop your outer thighs with the blocks. So once again, rest the hands on your belly and form a triangle with your uh, index fingers and your thumbs on your belly, connecting your fingers here, your index fingers and your thumbs. Now, as you inhale, let your belly expand so much that this triangle of the hands grows wider and your fingers disconnect. And as you exhale, the belly deflates and the fingers move towards one another. The triangle becomes smaller. So this, what happens on the inhalation, this is what's happening on the exhalation. Inhalation, exhalation. Couple more rounds here. Share three more belly breaths. Release your hands down release your legs finding the position of the arms legs torso head where you feel fully supported where you feel effortless 
letting your toes turn out to the sides, letting your palms face the ceiling, letting your eyelids lower down, savoring the presence, the aftertaste of the practice in your body, allowing yourself to just receive the wonderful benefits of the practice as you rest. Collect your attention on your breath again. Feel the presence of your physical body in your practicing space. When you feel confident that you are awake, deepen your breath and welcome gentle movement to your body. Eventually find a full body stretch. Deep breath in or a yawn. And as you lower your arms down, bend your knees. Give your knees a hug. Draw your brows to your knees. And as you set your feet on the floor, roll over onto your side, whichever side is calling you right now. And pause there for a few breaths. Slowly, slowly, with the help of your arms, begin your journey to the upright seat, taking your time, coming up. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to the heart. Feel the finger pad to finger pad connection. Notice your current state of being, body, mind, and heart. Find a deep breath in, exhale. Thank you friends for practicing together, for breathing together. May you be well, namaste.